Ahoy there. So we keep talking about our subsistence lifestyle, and you're like, subsistence lifestyle, what is that? Well, the subsistence lifestyle today is going to be crabbing. We're going to take you out with us going after tanner crab. Let's see if we get some. So we're towing the skiff, the open skiff, which, okay, it's sprinkling a little bit. And I got to tell you, my, uh, my very attractive uh, camera lady here is, let's just say, less than excited about going out. But that's all right, because, you know, that's, uh, that's what we do when we subsistence fish for food. It is a little chilly. My hands are getting cold just holding onto the phone. So it's going to get even colder on the water. I couldn't really film that part. Just like that, boom! We're off the trailer and there goes Jen in the truck. Alrighty, so we're all loaded up. Jen's got the camera there. She might find it hard to find me, you know, when I put this hat on, <laughs> she gets a little weird. So if the camera drops, just look away. Beautiful near island harbor and the windmills up there on Pillar Mountain. They're going pretty well. Might be a little chubby going around the point, but. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. Famous last words. It's a beautiful evening after a day of work. Okay, step one, we gotta bait the pots. Now, we're not going full subsistence on this one because we just don't have the time. That is a work day. So, we gotta cheat and use herring. These soak until, see today is Wednesday. You're gonna leave them soak until Saturday? Yep, so the smaller they're gonna soak until Saturday. So there's a smaller tanner pot. Now this one is the long term herring. This has a bunch of holes in it. That'll be an attractant after the other ones get eaten. Which, if they're a crab here, won't take very long.
first time putting down this set of pots. So we're going to figure out if they have enough line or not in a second. Because you didn't make these pots or buy them new, you bought them used. Once in a while, I slow it down just to make sure it doesn't go upside down on me. Glad you guys could come along. It's a lot of fun. It really is. Like I said, this is one of the coolest parts about living up here is the subsistence lifestyle. First one's down. I was worried we didn't have enough line. Turns out I had about 100 feet more than I needed. Our depth is 297. Fisherman friends would say 50 fathoms, so whatever. Um, putting them down. So now the pot's been soaking for four days, and by soaking we mean you know they're out there fishing for us. And we've got a good crack in the weather. Well, we got an okay crack in the weather. Decided it's time to go out and see what we got. All right, sit wrap. We uh, we tried filming some stuff for you guys. Camper review. And we realized that, uh, well, weather-wise, we pretty much got to pull those crab pots today. So we grabbed some quick food at the Millions. We did a video on those guys earlier. And, uh, well, now old Captain Morgan there is in charge of getting us out to the crab pots over there. Let's see how this goes. a bunch of sea otters going up and down the buoy line. Time to go see if we got any crab and if the otters left any for us. All right, so we're going for crab pot number one. Like I said, I don't know. This could go either way. Well, and Larry said earlier he saw otters messing with it. Yeah. You guys did just put down two, right? Yeah. Now the reason we're coiling it this way is because it was a disaster putting it out. It's slowly moving, but it's moving. And it is stopped. That is officially the crab pot. Um, about 275 feet.
Okay, now, on video, it's going to sound like I'm being bossy, but that's just how you roll on boat. Keep an eye on it. Make sure I don't run over it. Down the still. All right, so now we're going to use this, uh, I think it's a Norwegian trick. I'm sliding the buoy down to the down to the crab pot and pull it because it's 400 feet of I don't want to pull. Here. Okay. Well then I'm going back here. It is about 150 feet. Now, like I said, I probably look grouchy. I'm really not. It's just when you're out here, it's go time. And once mom gets the line coiled, we're going to do the same thing. Hopefully this time we get all the way to the... Okay, there it is, 150, babe. Okay, go up and watch the buoy for me. Okay, so when you're pointing at the buoy, do this. Oh, it's like uh, 50 feet. Oh, I can pull. Yeah. It's hard. Okay. I'll just do it Ah, don't wrap your wrist like that. Don't ever wrap your wrist. Line work 101. Not strong enough? No. Oh, let's sit down coil. <laughs> We are 301 feet. No, 
25 maybe? I can see it. Anybody else can see that? Oh, tracker. Wow, it's not heavy with nothing in it. That's sad. Well, we didn't see the how it was No, for how heavy it was. Oh, God. So, it has to be male, and it has to be at least 5.5 inches across the air right there. Why just point across the shell? Yep. Nope. And it's not. So we have to throw this one back. Bye, crab. Say bye bye. So the crab are here, we just, yeah. Well. Well, we should probably get to the other one because I see something floating around it. I don't know what to do. Wait, let the boat. Dad will tell you what to do. Okay, grab the line from the front and start bringing it in as fast as you can. And don't let it get tangled up in your feet or your hand. Arm. Walk to your right, Morgan. Get away from this stuff. Okay, we're at Cannery Row here. We weren't able to film pulling everything in because, well, we had our hands full. The pot, that pot got skunked a bit, but you can see the ring on the top's broken. So I think all the crab were able to climb out. Um, I don't know if, it's, if we got it on film. There was only one in there and it was too small, so we had to throw it back. But the other one that's not broken had three, so we got three keepers. So I would call that a successful trip. How about you, Captain Morgan? What would you call it? A cold trip, but a good trip. There you go. Well, I don't know if you can see these. Holy moly. It's not that often you see that many sea lions at the same time. Okay, so what do you think? I mean, it wasn't hundreds and hundreds of pounds of crab or anything. But then again, that's pretty good since my pot puller isn't working right now. These pot pullers, that's about all I can handle. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I gotta tell you, we enjoyed it more than you because that crab was delicious. As always, thanks for watching. We really appreciate your time. Please do the like, subscribe, whatever. And again, we so appreciate all you guys. We just went over 300. That's a big deal. Thanks for watching.